the first thing I want to get out of the way here is the lens flare issue with the iPhone 11 Pro. You see just a tiny bit here, but this was a problem I talked about when I compared the 11 Pro to my Pixel 3, and you're going to hear more about it in this video. Otherwise, you have two phones here that took great shots in the day, with a few differences here and there. The Pixel 4 offers darker shadows, while the iPhone 11 Pro brings them out more. At 100% crop, you see a touch more clarity on the iPhone 11 Pro, but it's not worlds apart. You can also see how the Pixel 4 has deeper blacks, while the 11 Pro instead sacrifices that to bring up the shadows. Alright, let's get the intro out of the way because I got a lot of shit to talk about. Again, two great shots, and again, here's a bit of that lens flare I was talking about on the iPhone 11 Pro. Otherwise, both provide excellent results, and at 100% crop, you see better clarity on the 11 Pro with a hint of what looks like sharpening here. Alright, this time around the 11 Pro is suffering from serious lens flare. You see it on the Pixel 4 as well, but it's nowhere near what the 11 Pro exhibits. It washes out the black brick, and in my opinion, it makes the shot unusable. There's a theme for this video, it's that both these phones take pretty great shots. Both perfectly usable, especially for something like Instagram. If anything, you see the iPhone putting a little more pop in the orange here. At 100% crop, I see a few sharper spots on the 11 Pro, but other areas the Pixel 4 has a clearer result. And then not. Okay, here we go again with the pops of color. Look at how red these fire hydrants are on the 11 Pro compared to the Pixel 4. What you like more is going to be personal preference, but I can assure you it wasn't that red when I took these photos. You can also see what I mean about the lighter shadows on the 11 Pro in the brush here. At 100% crop, the iPhone 11 Pro offers a sharper shot and even deeper blacks over here, with much less noise slash grain that the Pixel 4 is obviously having issues with. Now I'm going to switch this up a bit and talk about indoor lighting and portrait mode for a second. So my buddy Steven was nice enough to take a few shots for me and I will say the Pixel 4 has definitely upgraded in the portrait mode department. One of the things that struck out to me is how well the Pixel 4 handled separating the subject from the background. Honestly a lot better than the Pixel 3. I'll have to do an official test but I'm pretty sure I'm spot on with this one. Now let's talk about white balance. The iPhone 11 Pro is shooting warmer with a yellowish tint and it might not be that yellow under the conditions we were in, but it's more realistic than the Pixel 4's much whiter, brighter tint. Although honestly, I prefer the Pixel 4's lighting here, it just looks a lot cleaner. But the other thing is sharpness in the subject. Comparing Steven on the Pixel 4 and the 11 Pro is a huge difference. At 100% crop, the results speak for themselves. In this second set, again, both impressive portrait shots, but the clarity on the Pixel 4 just stands out. At 100% crop, you can see the 11 Pro had a little trouble figuring out the hair while the Pixel 4 seemed to nail it down. And just to close things out with the indoor lighting, white balance stuff, you can see the differences here. Detail and clarity is pretty much similar for both, but the 11 Pro definitely shows a much more realistic representation of lighting than the super white and bright Pixel 4. So as we start heading to low light and night shots, here's a few I took at dusk. Both phones show drastic differences. I will say that the iPhone 11 Pro was definitely closer to real life lighting than the Pixel 4. This one again is probably a personal preference, but for me, I like the 11 Pro's more realistic approach here. Now before you blow up in the comments, let me add that the Pixel 4 introduced a new feature that lets you adjust exposure and shadows on the fly, which is great, but we're working in auto mode here to keep things fair and consistent, so just keep that in mind. I know most of my regular viewers watching my work are more tech savvy than others, but I also know that most people don't fuck with the camera settings and just want to pull their phone out and shoot without thinking about anything else. Moving on. 
Now if you preferred the Pixel 4's last dusk shot, what about this one? Again, you have a much more colorful, brighter sky, but this time you're dealing with a ton of noise that comes along with it. You can also see how the lights in this walk path overexpose and ruin the shot. Look at how bright the light shines on the Pixel 4's walking path versus how well it's lit under the iPhone 11 Pro. Both of these night shots turned out great. I will say the things that pop out to me is a more contrasty image on the 11 Pro that I usually go for. You can see richer yellows here and a punchier shot overall, but at 100% crop, the Pixel 4 delivers better clarity throughout. And again, while both of these shots look pretty similar from afar, there is a bit of overexposure on the left side of the image with the Pixel 4, giving off a blue aura. But at 100% crop, the lit sign is less overexposed on the Pixel 4, including the interior light. Here, the color temperature between these photos is a little different. A little cooler on the Pixel 4, a bit whiter, even bluer in tone. Cropped, you can see better detail on the Pixel 4, but you also have a bit of a smoothing effect that might be taking away from the photo. The blue light also turns bright white with more of an unbalanced blue hue outside it. Now, this is a great shot from both phones. This is actually probably my favorite in the set. The Pixel 4 does a bit more to brighten up the shot, specifically by the shadows and the trees. Regardless, both came out excellent with the Pixel 4 taking the edge in terms of clarity. there's one thing that the Pixel 4 needs work on, it's the night sky. I think my biggest gripe so far is how noisy it gets compared to the 11 Pro. The rest of the shot might come out great, but if that sky is full of noise, I think it ruins the photo overall. You can just see what I can only call splotchy marks everywhere here. Now in these next couple set of shots, you're gonna see the Pixel 4 overexposing way too much. You can see it in the lights here and here, while the iPhone 11 remains more balanced. And in this last set of shots, both would have been perfect, if not for the Pixel 4 overexposing on the left, washing away the green shrubbery along with it. The iPhone 11 Pro is definitely a great upgrade from last year's iPhone XS when it comes to its photo taking abilities. The Pixel 4 has stepped up its game as well, probably not as big a leap as the iPhone since the Pixel 3 already did so well last year. If anything, the 11 Pro's caught up with the Pixel in terms of low light and night shooting. I will say that the iPhones offered some great clarity in its day shots, better than what I'm seeing on the Pixel 4, but what concerns me is the lens flare issue that's plaguing the iPhone 11 Pro. It's something the Pixel 4 has it beaten for sure. When it comes to portrait shots, the Pixel 4 has definitely done a great job in terms of sharpness and detail. Steps above what the iPhone 11 Pro is showing, but I'll have to do a little more testing to confirm. Just be aware that the Pixel's gonna change that white balance on you when it comes to indoor slash artificial light. And as far as night shots, both are probably ahead of the game than most. Not all, but most, but their expensive price points also show for it. At dusk, the iPhone 11 Pro handled the lighting much better, and in a lot of instances, the iPhone 11 Pro also handled overexposure better as well, offering an overall balanced shot despite lacking the clarity the Pixel 4 portrayed. What's right for you? I guess it depends on how you shoot, and what you're shooting, and how deep your pockets are. I'd like to take a second and thank my patrons on Patreon for supporting my work. If you like what I do and want to support me as well, please consider supporting me there. Pardon the dust as I try to get all of that situated again. Also, feel free to check me out on Instagram where I post daily at PhoneJerome and on Twitter also at PhoneJerome where I like to complain about everything under the sun. Stay tuned for more videos on the Pixel 4 and iPhone 11 Pro as I take it out for video testing, video stabilization, battery life, etc, etc.